Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the LSU Tigers. Tonight, we've got an interesting matchup at the shooting guard position. Number 14, the guy that really shoots the basketball. He's got a great stroke. His counterpart tonight is a sharp shooting three-point specialist that can shoot it with the best of them. It should be an interesting matchup to watch. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. The Tigers are facing very tough opposition tonight, Nick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First of all, don't give any open looks at the arc. Find the three-point shooters, baby. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. And lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He is going to the line. Gets the first. Well, the arc looked good. They take it off the defensive glass. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Fakes the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. Shiver handles the feed for two. And he missed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. On the outside. Combs receives the pass. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Tries for two, and he scores it off the glass. Gave it up. Lawson handles the pass. Looking for a good shot. The small forward receives the ball. Braxton is carrying his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And the ball goes out of play. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribble and act here and turns it over. Perfectly executed. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. They're working around the arc. The small forward takes the pass in the paint.
He's going nowhere. Ball Turnover. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the dribble, gives it up. Number one is admired by the fans. Listen to that ovation. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Trying to feed inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Puts it up. He gets the bucket. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. They work the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Stop and pop. Way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. Oh, what a strip, Red. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. Both teams are looking to get something going here. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fast break opportunity here. Trying to draw some contact. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number three makes the shot. for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. They look to get it to the inside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. There's the pick. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Dump it inside. Try to go inside. There's the trap. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He shoots from the top of the circle. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Way out on top, controlling the ball. In and out for the bucket. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. Gave it up. Definitely a foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. The Bulldogs are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Makes his second shot. It's 
good. Screener gets the worst of that screen with the elbow. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got an open look if he wants it. He nails the bucket. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. Fires away. Off the mark. LSU have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. the pass in the paint control of the ball gets it to fall he can't let this guy have the uncontested shot he just got to dig in and play some D excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set that's even more important on how talented guards like they have yeah that helps The Tigers' success on the gridiron is usually what garners the most attention. They definitely receive a lot of football support, but it's great to see the same folks at the basketball games. On the dribble, gives it up. Got him for three. Looks like he was just standing there. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. A high screen. The skip pass is picked off. Shooter spotting up on a three. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Shoots. Drains the shot. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. High post screen. So effective, that screen. LSU are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, he tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. <laughs> Double team now, bad angle. From three-point land, he gets it to fall. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Looking for a good shot. Let's it fly. Way off target. Looking for the foul. Let's go court set. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the difference in scoring jumps out at me. It's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of his shot opportunities, and he's making the most of it. Come on. 
tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Got a nice screen. That's a 7-0 run. The ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the opportunity. Looking for contact. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Scorches the net. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And a momentary look from three-point land. He unloads a three. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Stolen away. Here they go into transition. For two, he hits the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From the top of the circle, the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. The center is going crazy. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Up and inside. Steal. Go up the other way. Get a layup. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Look at that spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. And he'll kick it back outside. The post flashes up high if he wants it. With the fake, he up fakes. And now the fadeaway jumper. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of play. Got a man in high post. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. He launches a three. He gets the shot to fall. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Threw down that dunk and got the foul. You've got a foul harder than that. 
if you're going to foul. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Hey, hey, he wants everyone to get up. At the foul line. And there they miss one. He grabs the rebound. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Kicks it out. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. They let him get into a rhythm. I think right now, got to focus defensively. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Ten on the shot clock. Makes the shot. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter, looking for a good shot. Fakes a jumper. Here's a double team. Let's it fly. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. They move it into the front court. They strip them in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. Moving it around the perimeter. Now the high screen. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Steals a pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He intercepts it. Shot clock is dead. It's stolen. Bucket perfectly executed. Throws up the prayer. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Bulldogs are trailing by 18. We've really been on a roller coaster here tonight, Dick. Any highlights of the half for our viewers? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like your team can do anything, baby, as we see in this long-distance bomb. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half.
LSU really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Nick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Nick, we're heading into the second half in our player matchup. It's going about the way we thought it would. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. He makes a nice shot fake and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He shoots from the top of the key, way off target. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. Pump fakes. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. There they come with it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Too physical. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchups? So hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He tries a jump hook, and he missed. Gave it up, jumped in front to take it away. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. There's the trap. The crowd loves this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. High post screen, gonna use it. 10 seconds to put it up. Puts up the shot, tickles the twine. One on the shot clock. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Oh, I don't know about that call. That's one of those plays where I think the ref anticipated the foul and blew it down on instinct. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing, that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> He can't get one to fall. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. He takes the shot. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They get it out into transition. Lawson makes a great move to draw the foul. 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. To the charity strike. First one, good. The center has gone wild. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Now they're working around the perimeter. And they get the turnover. They're off into transition. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Takes it off him. What a great strip. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. The Bulldogs are down by 20. Look at that spacing. Entry pass in the paint. The ball goes out of bounds. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job Mr. Nestler looks like there'll be an easy two here he gets the bucket and the foul he's here to fight baby that's a big plot good teams will get to the line often but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He's trying to funnel him to the sideline, take him to a trap. Stolen away. Look at speed, I tell you. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong through the contact, baby. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. That's an eight-zip run. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From beyond the arc, the Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple.
Back to the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. From left of the circle, he's money with a shot. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He tries to knock down the three. He shows the sweet touch. The Bulldogs are trailing by 14. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two, and off the mark. He puts up the tray. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. West is feeling great out there right now. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. And in and out. Trying to draw some contact. Up fake. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid is responding in a positive way. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. Got a wide open look. He shoots from the top of the key. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. High post screen. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from the left of the circle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jail. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Oh, Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. Gave it up. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For the bucket, you betcha. The Tigers are up by 12. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. He's got a high post flasher. Looking for the foul. Mississippi State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dickey's going to go up strong. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here on the left. Blocks the shot. Both squads seem to be incapable of slowing things down. It's like an indoor track meet out there. Man, I can barely keep up. Back and forth, back and forth. This is amazing. On the 
dribble, gives it up, picks off the lazy pass. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. For two, he drains the bucket. Shots there if he wants it. Looking for a good shot. Here's the three ball. Nice shot. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. There he is, strips the ball loose. Why, he puts pressure on a defense. What a great point guard. I love point guards that can really attack the defense. He goes for three. Great shot. Watch the replay, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Mississippi State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. Up and inside. Steals the pass. This should be an easy bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. That spacing. Great defense. And a momentary look from three point land. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He gets that one to fall. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. They get out on the break. Tries for two. Got it. On the dribble, gives it up. Pushing that basketball. Goes up for two. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I think Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. it inside. He finished out with a beautiful alley-oop, Brad. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts up the three ball, buries it. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper.
with a deep shot from outside. Oh, yes! Looking to move it around the perimeter. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. They work it back to the outside. Picks off the lazy pass. Long lead pass for the bucket. In and out. Two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Takes away the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Executes the baby hook. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. And again, they look to run. And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time in one, baby. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He sinks it. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Tries for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Nice job defensively. He misses the fadeaway. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Off the rim and no good. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and he made an error. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. The power forward with the ball. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Morgan comes up with it. He misses it. Nick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. Yeah, they really are. You've got to play as a unit. It's all about the team. That's what gets you to the winner so Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. LSU showed vast superiority tonight in this blow.